do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter study of animal tissue in that we are studying topic alveolar connective tissue now when i say alveolar it means something which is filled with air sacs and alveolar is a type of connective tissue let's study about it today alveolar connective tissue now if we talk about different forms of connective tissue alveolar connective tissue is one of its form these tissues have very distinct property or quality and one of the property is that that these tissues basically possess air sac like particle now what is this air sac like particle depending upon the type of matrix that's present in this kind of connective tissue tissues have been divided into various categories and one of this is alveolar connective tissue it's basically a loose kind of connective tissue and it is basically formed of alveolar tissues now when i say alveolar it becomes or it contains small particles of air pockets or air filled particles alveolar tissues basically will have macrophages white fibers matrix mast cells yellow fibers all of them together inclined in a fiber a branch like pattern in human beings now this connective tissue whenever they consist of mast cells mast cells are basically released or related to histamine production whenever you get allergy mast cells are the ones that show allergic reactions so this white and yellow cells also show similar reactions but in totally different disease or in any other infection or in any other element alveolar connective tissue now when i speak about this tissue it is a form of connective tissue now depending upon the type of matrix or you simply say grounding substance present in a kind of a tissue connective tissues can be divided into various groups and one of them is your areolar tissue now areolar tissue is also termed as loose connective tissue and being it called as loose connective tissue it was formerly called as alveolar tissue or areolar tissue because it was thought to contain small air pockets or small air packages or you simply say areolar
Now, however, allular tissues have their cavities which are filled with fluid kind of substance. And this loose connective tissue consists of a series of a cell and one of them is matrix. Now, when I talk about matrix, matrix is precisely a grounding substance and cells as well as intracellular fibers are just present in this matrix forming a mesh-like network. Now, mast cells are present in this tissue and these mast cells are basically granulated or they consist of simple cells with cytoplasm. Also, they secrete heparin and histamine which are nothing but tissue substances or during allergic reactions, they are just removed out. They contain fat cells, yellow fibers and fibroblasts. This is a diagram of allular connective tissue. As you can see, it is a mesh-like network containing fibroblast, collagen fibers, macrophages as well as elastic fibers. Now macrophages are phagocytic cells. Collagen fibers help to form that rigidity and elastic fibers give them a rigid dynamic structure. Students, in this part of the chapter, we came across allular connective tissue, its function, where it is located and what are the different kinds of cells present in it. I hope you all are very clear about this concept. Thank you.